Hello everyone. In last video, we learnt like how to render this product from the heap. So on this video, we will be working on this card page. So we will be designing this card page as of now. And after that, next we will put the logic for the delete and add to cart etc. So let's begin now. So I have come to my card component.html and card component.css. Here we will be doing it. So first I'll uh, remove this the default one and I'll put I'll take a container first ng container and inside this I'll take a div class equals to container I'll take div class equals to card. I'll let it be card table or else because I have to put class as well. And another we will take div class equals to um, card product. As of now, we will do, uh, be doing static as we done in the first. Same static we will do after that, we will apply for dynamic. So, let me take table. So, for table, so I need to give a class that is table. So I'll take table tag. I'll take tr and static one th. I'll take first here th and let it be like uh, serial number. Serial number. Uh, eight times I'll copy it. So total are eight eight headers for table header. Uh, here I keep product name product name and next I'll keep product image. This will be description. Next will be price. After that, we will go for quantity. After that, I will go for total and delete. for delete here I'll be giving T body then TR tag let me copy eight times that is steady So let me give CSS for card dot card height I'll keep 60 before Padding I'll keep 25 pixels. 
and here I have to put like uh, serial number uh, dummy I'll keep first let me one uh, and product name I'll give um, okay. and image also I want for this I have to link the image tag and put the static images of now and for this as of now I'll put dummy and keep test test So I'll put test. So let me put the image and keep image src uh, equal to I'll put a static image which we have used earlier. Here we can find the image src cell copy and paste it there. And I'll give a CSS as well for this style equals to width 120, sorry, 120 pixels and for last we need a delete button as well uh, I'll use button button I need of color red so I'll use class equals to btn btn danger so i'll take a font or some class equals to yes, and trash for delete so let me check okay we can see uh, it's not aligned properly we'll see where the mistake is okay here it should be table head now we can see everything has come proper so this is static one we have to make the dynamic one so we need some buttons as well so i'll come here so I'll take a button again td button so I need to mass equals to For red color and the name will be empty cart so here we'll be using we want class equal equals to equals pen equals to so I need to remove the class so another I need it is shop more that is of color green I need and it should route to the product page as well so I'll keep a router link products another I need for checkout as well copy this paste it and give the class warning This all I'll take in inside a TR deck. TR. Uh, 
and let me check now we can see all three buttons have come this is fully static functionality and all will be given later so when i press on shop more we can see it's going to the products page and i can come back as well and another thing was pending that is grand total we will do is grand total as well i'll take td and uh, strong tag i use grand total uh, let me keep static zero so we can say grand total has come zero so going to the css part yes everything is right uh, now when cart is empty for that also we have to design something when everything is deleted when length of the array is zero that time something should come that i have to design now that will be also static one so i'll be doing below this for empty cart cart again i'll take ng tina new class equals to or it will be center and i will use h4 tag and you your cart is empty your cart is empty h6 i will use add item to it keep a button we'll give a class dark let it be for black color button and i'll keep shop now and keep a router link that is so we can see it it is been here but i will use the css for this I'll go to my css first class name of center dot center i'll use a position absolute top let it be 50% uh, left let it be 50% transform i'll keep translate minus 50 minus 50 percent text align center i'll keep as we can see it has come here so for h4 and h6 So we can see uh, this is here and we have kept router link as well which is going to products page so everything will be dynamic uh, from the next video so next video we will be doing this delete and when we click on add to cart this should be incremented and when we go and delete the product uh, this should be decremented everything should be done so thanks for watching this video